But anyway, things were tough back in the Depression, so we had to learn to work, and so, um, uh, which we did. The year that I graduated, I was working for my father, and I was loading a truck at 7 o'clock in the morning to go out and shingle a farm barn. And he came over to the truck, and he said to me, he said, you register Monday and start classes at St. John's University. I said, where the devil is that? He said, it's up in Minnesota. So all day I thought about, there's no dance on Wednesday night. There's one Thursday night at Lakewood. There's one Friday night at the West Side. There's Saturday night at City Club, Sunday night at the Five Mile House. And I thought maybe we would go up on Monday and I could register and start classes. I got home that night and he said, uh, we leave on Wednesday. He literally put me in the car, hauled me up there, walked into the registrar's office, and he said, I got a son here, I want to go to college. Well, he and I both went to St. John's and then uh, he married a gal right across the street, kitty corner from where we lived, right by Tech High School here in St. Cloud. And so that was before he even got into the residential real estate business and building houses. He was working with International Harvester, and they were cutting back or something, and and he decided that I, mean, he said he, I was taking a walk with him right, right over there by my house, and he says, I'm going to start building houses. I said, what do you know about houses? He said, nothing. <laughs> that's, he just made that decision. And so, so anyway, that's, I, I know, I've known him all that time. Lee Torberg and I became a committee of two to uh, go out and encourage people to make donations of appreciated property where there were tax advantages, which again was right in connection with my background with estate planning. So we would go out and people would come to us and want to don donate something and Lee and I would go and take a look at it and we'd decide yes or no because some were more advantageous for somebody, the giver, but not necessarily for the foundation. And so that was our, our chore, and uh, we enjoyed it. Lee and Jack, uh, together as a team, had worked with Alex Didier, the founder of the Central Minnesota Community Foundation, to find this building and then to have this building purchased um, from a bank, uh, which Lee Torberg had done. And then Jack and Lee had gone to work uh, first renovating the space, uh, leasing out all the space except for the corner office on the second floor, which was the offices of the Central Minnesota Community Foundation. It was very important at a very critical time back in 96 because we didn't have a lot of dollars to operate the organization. And because we had this beautiful space in which to operate, not only did we not necessarily have to pay rent, but we had income coming in from a fully leased building. What a wonderful example they are to this community of uh, dedicated to their, their family. But... I went to Al Didier and I said, Al, I said, uh, here's what I think could be done with that building. And then I told him that I said, I think if we had a Santa Claus that would buy it, fix it up, that person would have to be a very generous person, a practical person, qualified person, if we could find that person to do that and then turn it over to the foundation at a reasonable price, that would be a wonderful office for us. He said, there's one I've got in mind. And I said, no, I said, I've got one already in mind. And I said, that's Lee Torber. He said, uh, oh, yeah, I know Lee. And he said, he'd be perfect. And so that's the way it happened. The gifts that they gave of, of this space has been um, so important to us. You know, the fact that we have a building that's in downtown St. Cloud is huge. Um, it's where we need to be. There's so much activity. The downtown is an integral part of um, our community and uh, we're centrally located. For our staff and for our committees, we have two beautiful spaces that we can gather to discuss uh, what some of the challenges are in the community and work on solutions to those things. And that wouldn't be possible without the gift that Jack and, and uh, Lee both have made to this community foundation. Lee and I talked about it. Lee said, well, he said, we got to get that cleaned out. And so uh, that was work. I mean, manual labor. So we started ripping up. So we kept that up and we moved that 
that big steel door. Lee closed that opening in there himself. He's a carpenter, he's everything, you know. And so uh, that's what we did. So anyway, that's more of well, me and Lee. Designed it so that they take that sunlight and distribute it to the whole building through all the clouds. 